The homeless person memorial um, actually began in 1990 nationally, but this is the first time we've done it here in Solano. Um, and just a bunch of people have come together um, from your community to put this event on. Um, and so we're Oops, really excited sorry. that you guys are all here. And I just wanted to remind people that, you know, approximately 4,500, and we know that number's probably pretty low, um, people are in Solano County are homeless at any given night. So again, welcome. And I'm going to invite um, Pastor Ray up here. Ready for my eulogy? Well, I'm ready. Oh, we'd like these? Right. Yeah, is there, um, did somebody bring a lighter? Some thoughts that I have, and as you know, we've uh, been working at the Christian Help Center since 1983, and, and uh, tried our best to help as many of those who are or were homeless as much as possible. And to date, probably about 25,000 men and women and children, and continued to uh, expand the services since then. And, and just a real brief thought about uh, the homeless, and especially those who uh, have passed on and are not with us. And as I was writing on that paper and uh, remembering some of those that I have known personally, and there's been many who were homeless and have, have passed on, uh, historically we realized that uh, death does not uh, uh, put an end to a movement. If, if anything else, history proves to us that death actually sparks and allows a movement to grow even more. And, and I, I don't need to point out some examples to you, but many of them are very obvious. Uh, the civil rights movement, even when the, the founder and the leader uh, died, the, the movement continued. Uh, the same thing with the peace movement. And, uh, well, uh, one very uh, example that me as a, a Christian pastor, the founder of my faith, uh, in the crucifixion, and even that did not uh, put away and, and uh, stop the movement. And today, many profess the Christian faith and allegiance to uh, Jesus Christ as our Lord and our God. And so today, as we remember those who have passed on because of their experience of homelessness, uh, may it be a continued spark for us to not only gather, have these kinds of gatherings uh, here and in this county and around the world, but in our hearts and, uh, and remember those who who really need the help that uh, uh, many do need help. And so the movement continues, the compassion continues, the care continues, and many other services that we need to provide. And so thank you for being here. And let's remember their, their sacrifice. It's not in vain. It's actually to expand our awareness and our heart of compassion towards them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm gonna introduce, where'd Bill go? Bill. Bill. Come on up. I, before I start, I would like to give all the glory to God and Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. My name is William DeLore. I bottomed out 2005. I was on my choice of a habit was chasing the dragon, Crystal Mel. I was a dumpster driver. Then I became homeless from 2005 to 2008 until I went to the open doors Christian Helping. And I was lost and I was found. And I would like to remember a lot of my homeless friends that have passed. My first name, Amber, Indian Amber. Everybody remember Amber? Yes. Mm. Um, Rosemary, Jack Neely, Wild Bill Shopping Cart. Everybody yes. remembers Wild Bill Shopping Cart. He got run over by a car on <laughs> Highway Sonoma, on Highway 29. Excuse me. Kind of nervous. 
and uh, and it hurts. It hurts. They were they were friends. They were mentors. We had our habits, but we believed in God. And and there were places we went to, and I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I went to, like I said, Christian Health Center. I was illiterate three years ago. I did not know how to read. I learned how to read going to Proverbs five thirty in the morning. Amen. Then That's I right. went to uh, Global Success and uh, Miss Terry, my teacher out here, had thought had put me on uh, ri uh, horizons. And, and I learned my alphabets and sounds, now I can do it. Mm. And like I said, I was lost and I was found. And whoever I might have forgotten of my brothers and sisters there, <coughs> we, we were in a ha uh, homeless camp. The first homeless camp I stayed <coughs> was in the front gate of Mir Island. That's right. Okay? Uh, Firemen came to chase us out, water us down three o'clock in the morning so we would get cold because it was it was trespassing. Forget the phone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Trespassing. Then we moved down to Wilson Avenue. We we're disturbed there. And finally I went into White Smooth. Because wherever we went, where we stayed out of trouble, we were just trying to survive and we always got harassed by authority. Okay, so we had to go deep, we had to go high. And, and when we had to do that, we get cold, we get sick, we get hurt, and, and we get missed. And that's all I, I can remember now and all I can say. But like I said, in memory of all my brothers and sisters that I have shared with at that time of being homeless and I was bound and stayed. And uh, I've been four years sobriety. Right you know, I remember that one. Four years sobriety. God is good. Yeah, all the time and then right. some. In the name of Jesus. That's right. And so, uh, so then, uh, like I said, I got sobriety November 22nd, 2007. Right on. Okay. 2011 was in four years. And I've been in transitional houses also. That also helps. I'm in the house of ministry at 220 Meadows. Elliot's my cross street. If you need prayers, come on by. We'll pray for you. And. And I thank you, and I think I got the signal to uh, back off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. I know it's cold. Um, we've been there before. We went to colder. We went to wet. We went to hunger. Anybody here have um, many sandwiches? Try to have a many. <laughs> My brothers have many sandwiches. Or even loaf of bread. Okay, loaf of bread. But we share. That's right. We shared with brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sugar that was, yes, a sugar sandwich. Yeah. Don't forget the sugar sandwich. Yes. What about the what about the wish sandwich? Yeah, and the wish sandwich. <laughs> I wish I had a sugar sandwich. So I, I thank you and that's why I wish you man. Kelly, Jerry Stokes, Jimmy Witt, Robert. That's all I can tell you Thank you all. I'd like to remember Dale Mozart and Charlie House. Thank you. Thank you.